Hey, this is Snap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about under eyes. Yes, I just finished mine up, and I'm going to do a tutorial for you to show you exactly how I got mine to look like this. It's not a lot of effort. It's really not. It's just being simplistic and not being in a hurry, okay? And I'm going to show you all the products I've used to do this. I'm 61. If I can do it, you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. Okay, y'all ready? Let's go do it. Let me get up close and personal. <laughs> See, when I smile, look at all those little wrinkles. The only place you don't have it is like right here. Sucks, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cause sometimes, you know, when you put it on, that's where all the little things go. See, and I've even got them out here too. Mm. So what I've done, I've already done my skincare. That's why it looks so shiny. Uh, but this is what I used. I used e.l.f. I love this one. It's like holy hydration. Nice. It's very creamy. Uh, it's not thick. See, I have been using it. And what you do is just take a tiny bit and I just put it here. Now, I do love my rosehip uh, seed oil too. I do use that. I get that from uh, The Ordinary. That's the one I, that's the brand I get. Works so, so well. And I've got it here right here this is what i like to use too so let me grab this i just want to show you how much i put not much look we're going to just put a dab a little dab of do you all right <laughs> that's a southern thing i think i think it is it's going to be a beautiful day here it is so pretty outside i want to get this done i'm going to see grandbabies yes that's my goal today okay I'm going to leave that and it, just get up and go get you some coffee or something like that. And then, you know, come back and then you'll touch it and it won't have any tacky feeling at all. It'll just be very soft and subtle and you will love it when you start to put on your concealer. All right, y'all ready to do this? I am going to use uh, Huda. Yes, I love this. I love this concealer. It is my favorite. It actually is. And this is the color Marshmallow. And then I also picked up this. This is a NYX like a uh, con con corrector. It's a peachy color. So you can look, when I look down, you can see there's, you know, that's got some darkness there and there. So that's where I like to add this. And then we're gonna mix. And I just did this on a fluke. Now I did, just to see how it would work. And I never even thought about using this, but it's by Smashbox. And it is the um, Minimize Pores. Now this is a trial size. So, the reason I bought the trial size was to make sure, you know, that I liked it. But number one, I use it through the center of my face, my nose, and through here for my pores. And it works wonderful. So, and it is kind of hydrating. So, I thought, well, I'm going to mix the two and let's see what we get. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to mix it. We're going to put it on. And we're going to see the finished product of it. You're going to love it. I, I, I was blown away when I did it. So, let me show you how to do it. First things first, we got to get rid of these little bags I got. So this is what I'm going to use. It is retractable. I love that it's at an angle. It, you know how sometimes you get them and they're just flat and they're really hard to get in where you need them to be? This is perfect because you can hold it just like this. And I can come right under here, right under that good old bag, puffy <laughs> bag, and just lightly put it there. I don't put a whole lot of it. I only put it where I need it, which is right here, wherever that little darkness is. And what we're going to do is actually going to blend over this. Now, however, I do take my finger and just kind of push it down into the, my skin like that and do it on this side too. Ta -da. Okay, so that's all I'm doing there. If, this is very creamy and I bought another brand and I really did not like that. And then I thought, I saw this and I thought, I'm going to try it. And it worked so, so good. And I got to share it with y'all. All right, this, what we're going to do is mix this on the back of my hand. We're not going to put this directly under my eyes, okay? We're going to put it here. And you don't need much. See that? Me and all my brown spots. Don't you wish you could just walk in something and they say, do you want to get rid of your brown spots? Yeah. Then you just step in and step out and they're gone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? Somebody needs to invent that. So here is my huta. And we are going to place this right here. I know I'm silly. I, you can't get through life without being silly and, and having fun with it. 
All right, just like me, I'm going to go see my grandbabies today. So that's why I'm going ahead and getting this done so I can go and be cray cray with my baby. Because <laughs> a two year old is going to, he's going to, he's going to pull me everywhere today. So take and mix it with your finger. Now, if you don't like with your finger, you could mix it with a little spatula. I have one. Uh, I don't see it at this moment. Uh, I thought I saw it. It's a little spatula you can get at a Walmart, and you can just mix it with that. And you can actually apply it with the end of that. But I like doing it with my fingers. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to pop it here. So now we've got what we need. I mean, I've got too much, you know what I'm saying? Now... You could take this and save it and use it for highlighting somewhere else on your face, whatever you want to do. And I do like to bring it out here. And I'm not a professional, y'all. I'm just a girl from Alabama. and But I've always loved makeup, okay? Always. Always have loved it. Now, whatever's left, just kind of smooth. And you, once you do this, you're going to go, wow. It just feels moisturizing. But yet... It doesn't shine. You know, does that make sense? <laughs> and we are going to set it with some powder because I do like setting it with powder. Now, you can go ahead straight in and go do it. That's I'm going to use my ring fingers because that's the least resistance and you don't want to put a lot of pressure. However, if you want to use a brush, um, you can use a brush like this. This is uh, BK Beauty's uh, Angie's. This is one of her brushes. <clears throat> I like this brush, but I don't like using it under my eyes. I think I have too many wrinkles there, and I don't know, it just, and it takes away some of the product that I could just use on my fingers and press it in, but however, you do you, and I'm going to do this with my fingers, and some people don't like stuff on their fingers, and I get it, so use a brush if that's for you, and what all I do is just kind of press it through and push it out, just like this. And I will probably let it set just a second or two. But I like to look down into my mirror because that way I can see where that bag is. I mean, my bag's not going to go away totally, <clears throat> but it will be minimized. But we haven't put the powder on yet, too. So powder makes a huge difference because it's going to mattify everything. Because the Huda Beauty Concealer is so, so moisturizing to me. And I don't know why I didn't try it before a long time ago. Okay, now I like to go ahead and set it pretty quickly. Let's look at it first. See, that looks really, really good. It does. It's mixed together well, and I, it's on your fingers, too. You feel, you just feel it. It's very moisturizing. I think you will love this. Just try it. Don't use a whole lot of the, um, of this, of the Smashbox. Don't use a whole lot of it. Just a tiny bit is all you need. And then just place, you know, the Huda over it or whatever you're going to use for your concealer. Okay. So let me grab my stuff I want to use to do under here. And because I can't decide whether I want to do it, NYX, or uh, Laura Mercier. So I'm going to decide that and I'll be right back. Here's one more tip for you. So if your eyes are like super, super dry under eyes and you get everything on, and you go back and look, and you look right in here in this area, and you still see it kind of, you know, it's just not right, then you can, and I have tried this before, uh, like if you put too much of the concealer, and you want to kind of back it off a little bit, uh, I go in and I use my rosehip oil, very tiny bit, and you just want to put it like right here on the end of these two fingers, and just don't rub it, just kind of pop it, pop it okay and let it sit there for a second or two and then kind of blend it with your finger and it will help those areas okay it will um i think i'm gonna try the nyx i haven't tried the nyx now i do love my it's it's is like my jam i love that one but however today i feel like i want to do the nyx and it is, this is the one it is, it's NYX, I, know it's, I hope it's not backwards to you, but it's their Mineral Matte Finishing Powder, okay? And all I'm going to use is a big fluffy brush. That's all you need. Make sure it's clean, if that don't have anything else on it. And let me just put some of this, this is what I like to do, because if I dip that down in there, it's going to be way too much for me. So, and I'm going to shake this out. Now, I'm not going down into 
<laughs> getting too much and then have to beat it off. No, I don't want to do that. So there you go. That's very light. And I'm just going to kind of take the brush and you're going to kind of tap it off. And a lot of times I'll do like this before I actually do it. And then you're going to take the brush and you just kind of play. Don't swipe it. Just place it down. Just like that. My hair is all in my eye. My hair's getting longer. It's actually looking better. I've actually got better hair now than I had in a long time. But I've been doing a lot of different things for it and not washing it as much. See how oh yeah. That looks pretty. It does. We gotta get a little more. You don't want too much. Shab it off. See it flying through the air? Isn't that cool? I've seen Angie use this and that's so I tried it. And I really, and I didn't realize I had the product already. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it. So I have, and I switch back and forth. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I use this. Sometimes I use the Laura Mercier. It just depends on what I feel like that day. So, but this really is nice and mattifying. So, you know, you're going to have, it's not going to give all that glare. Like if you had pictures made or something, it's not going to bounce off of that. It's going to be really pretty. I love this. Let me look at it up close. Oh, it really is so pretty. So, so pretty. And remember, if you get too much powder, take your brush and just kind of swipe through it like this. Because you are going to have some subtle in it. I'm 61. I got some lines right up under here. It's just going to happen. So make sure when you come back and look at it, walk around, do some things, and come back and you go, oh, there's a little, it's always going to get right here. Always. Just come right underneath and do it like that, and you'll get rid of that, okay? Oh, that's so pretty. Y'all, I hope you try this. I really do like the way it finishes out. Let me back up. Look at that. All right, <clears throat> please like and share and click that notification bell. I will make sure I put everything down in the description box for you. I will tag some of the products that I've used. So if you want to get them, you can. And I appreciate you so much for coming back and watching my crazy self. I am a Southern girl. Let me back up. See my hair? Mm -hmm. Hair did good today too. Oh, it's a good hair day and a good under eye day. Mm, can't get better than that, girl. You can't. <laughs> All right, I will see y'all next week and have a fabulous week. See you later.